good for them. The concerns of homeowners exposing major errors. Our investigation uncovering communication meltdowns, emergency notification mistakes, and a delay in executing a timely evacuation. As the smoke built, dozens called 911 looking for direction. If there's any problem, big problems, don't you get a reverse 911 if they're worried? Well, as long as anyone's registered their phone, they'll get it. I'm just trying to figure out like what our status is. If you're going to be evacuated, they'll go door to door. We would put out like a, a notification if it's getting that bad. We just thought if something was really bad, we would get a call. The North Fork Fire Chief called for evacuations at 4:57 p.m. Jefferson County would send out the order eight minutes later. But instead of the 130 homes in immediate danger receiving the notification, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office admits it accidentally sent the alert to 20,000 numbers, some as far away as Broomfield. Realizing the mistake, the notification was stopped after 4,600 numbers. Those who got a text message saw mandatory evacuation notice, fire moving north towards Pleasant Park. That caused more people to call 911. Okay, you should not have gotten that message. Not a lot of people got it in error. Looks like you got that um, evacuation notice in error, so you can disregard it. The accurate reverse notification did not get sent out until 5.23 p.m. Our neighbor said our house was burned by 5 o'clock, so I don't think that would have done as much good. But A call was made to Patrick and Nancy Lansu, according to this data requested and reviewed by 7 News, but not until 6.24 p.m. Central Time. That's 5.24 here. What we found, of the 22 homes destroyed, only 7 received emergency warnings, none before 5.23 p.m. Some of the homes, including Scott and Ann Apples, never received a call because the system had their home mapped in Morrison, 13 miles away. We asked Jefferson County Sheriff Ted Mink about the errors. He told us the Jefferson County Emergency Communication Authority handled the contract with First Call, the reverse notification company. We assume that they have done their due diligence with this company, no reason to doubt that, and that when we punch the button, it will work. The county blamed First Call for not mapping homes in their correct location. First Call blamed the county for providing bad data. What I want to emphasize is it's only a tool. It doesn't replace people's ability to react on their own should they feel threatened. That's what doesn't sit well with these victims, who feel they're portrayed as helpless. We all acted in poor judgment, all of us. A question we heard over and over, why would these families leave based on the information dispatchers were providing? Small acreage, crews on scene, no evacuations. The 911 operator was still not really, you know, letting people know to get out. But we've heard from families who did leave, and one who tried. I know that she was getting ready to go because we talked about that. She had all her photos, uh, all the things that were really valuable. Uh, she was getting those together and getting ready to, to head out. No one knew for sure if Ann had gotten out. It wasn't until 8 p.m. before any emergency crews would come on this property and confirm the home had burned to the ground. Ann was missing. In the days that followed, the search for Ann, X's mark, where crews searched for any sign of her. Their answer, five days later, when they learned she never made it out of what's left of her home. Errors in communication, far from the only thing to go wrong with the Lower North Fork fire. Coming up next, when the weather changed, why didn't the burn plan? And we uncover parts of the burn plan that were not even followed. There's nobody that wants to take responsibility for what happened. 